I would have wished to deliver a ruling today, but both parties have taken too much time arguing the application and exhausted the available time despite being reminded about time. I have been referred to other instances which I was asked to consider as I retire to consider bail application. I will endeavor to deliver this ruling tomorrow, tomorrow, about noon. After spending the weekend behind bars, the former Nairobi governor and 14 others will remain in custody pending a determination on their case on Tuesday. The accused are facing charges in connection to 68 million shilling irregular payment to Ashiramburu and company advocates law firm for legal services said to have been offered to the county. Kidero is accused of personally pocketing 14 million shillings from the total amount. Kidero Defense Council, led by James Orengo, vehemently opposed the continued detention of the suspects, claiming they are not a flight risk and they are presumed innocent until proven guilty. And the other the is only article 49.1H. In instances where an accused person is brought to court, he says, and he says, an arrested, arrested person who has been brought to court has the right to be released on bond, the right to be released on bond, or bail, or on reasonable conditions, pending a charge of trial, unless they are compelling reasons. But while objecting their release on bail, the prosecution claimed that the suspect could interfere with witnesses and they should be given penalties, bearing in mind majority of them still have active other corruption-related cases in court. EACC maintains that investigations have established that no services were rendered to Nairobi City County, yet the entire amount of 68 million shillings could not be accounted for. Other standing trial alongside Kidero include his former chief of staff George Wainaina, a former city council councillor Mutunga Mutungi, Nyakach MP Aduma Awar, and former Embakasi Central MP John Durango. This is the third time Kidero has been arrested ever since his failed attempt to recapture the seat in 2017.